title of um, my solo show here is Meditative Motions. And when I first saw the chapel, I was just in such awe of the movement that I see in these works. And later learned that Nevelson was a really active modern dancer and would often use modern dance as a way to help inform gravity and composition and um, center herself. And I completely relate to that. I take ballet a few times a week and every time I leave a class I feel like I've edited and um, know what to do next. Um, just to add a little bit about Nevelson, when she was hired to design the chapel here um, in 1977, um, she worked very closely with the architect. I love color and most of my work is multicolored or um, sometimes monochromatic, but I wanted to have a dialogue with the space here at St. Peter's. So I thought, why not sort of celebrate the use of white and the monochrome by bringing an element of that outside into the, the space. Eight works above the stairs that are very inspired by movement and dance and within the context of a church. Um, as Heather mentioned, I studied textiles at Rhode Island School of Design and I'm a um, from a small textile town in South Carolina and um, when I was initially painting I was painting on a traditional canvas and comparing the layers of paint to weaving and started to ask myself you know I know so much about fabric I have such a passion for it why not weave my own canvas and that led me to literally break through the canvas and start re-dissecting um, what makes up a painting. It's some fabric, some paint, and some wood, and how can I own each element to um, express my statement. It's titled Reclaim, and I was really inspired by a recent trip to Japan, and a lot of their sacred spaces are orange, this very like fiery, bright red-orange, and I just was in such awe of the color. And then all of the elements that you see here are fabric, that I have either dyed or painted and then woven directly on the stretcher bars. So there's not any weaving that happens like on a loom or anything separate. It happens all directly on the um, structure of the, the canvas. I am always inspired by when I leave dance classes, this idea of extending one's body and challenging oneself and you know reaching for something higher outside. I wanted to share that really strong magnetism between two spirits or energies and there's a slight female reference. Each piece I start with like a, a feeling or a mood or something that I want to convey. So there each each one has its own process and life, yeah. There's a, a sculpture here called Quake that um, actually started out on the wall as two stretcher bars and it kept falling off the wall and I was like fighting with it. And I was like maybe it just wants to be in the space, maybe it should just be a sculpture. For this piece titled Echo, I wanted to create the spiraling vortex sensation through um, these really strong diagonals. So I built the, the frame um, and use the stretcher bars being the diagonals um, as a way to harness the, the weaving. A lot of these elements are created through like a figure eight. It's almost like a dance in a way. There's a lot of like physical work that goes into it. And I started to ask myself, you know, why is the composition so organic but it's contained within this tight square? What would happen if I freed it a bit and let the eye you know, move outside of the square and move back in. And then I can kind of learn from that piece and take elements of it to bring on to the next piece. Um, usually there's just a point where I just know, okay, that's enough. You know, don't add any more or take anything away. It's, it's enough. I mean, if you look at it, it's, it's really the same ingredients as a painting. It's paint, fabric, and wood. These two works um, are in the similar, more geometric style of the work you saw upstairs called Echo. This next piece is titled Wave, and it was inspired by sound. I thought this would be a great opportunity to share some of my prints alongside my sculptural paintings. And Sometimes I do these before I start a piece just to make decisions about color. The idea of there being one horizontal and one vertical going over and it sort of 
pulling it apart so you can kind of see. I'm really interested in that idea, that tension between what's happening between the paint and the canvas itself. Japan was incredible. I couldn't believe how beautiful and just polite and wonderful every, everybody was. And this piece was, is titled Construction because I was in my studio late one night looking out the window and there was this crazy fog and bits of orange that were like flickering through it and I just thought, oh wow, that's so beautiful to see. Or someone, and I was like, No, it's just me and Donna Summer on the radio. <laughs>